Hi Lisa and everybody at Raw TV in London. We're in my messy garage on a beautiful fall day here in Northern California. Thank you for considering me for the show. You wanted to hear about uh, where my passion for cars came from. My father was a hot rodder uh, in the late 40s, early 50s in Southern California. And when I grew up, I just always knew there was an extra car or two in the garage that were a little bit louder, a little bit faster, a little bit... Uh, a little bit more dirty and down and down and gritty than the the normal cars. And when my mom would send me outside to play, she wouldn't send me out with a stick and a ball. She'd send me out to the garage to work with my dad. And I just grew up figuring that's what she did. Always had uh, built and restored motorcycles, cars, boats, all kinds of stuff. Uh, it was a natural progression to start racing them, and uh, that kind of led me to the career I'm in now, putting on the uh, bulletproof hot rod shows. Um, Hot rods are just kind of, they're kind of cool. I just love them, and uh, it's its something that uh, is different than your everyday car. Uh, the automobile is just this great rolling artwork. It's this, this sculpture that you can feel and hear and taste, and uh, it's just an assault on the senses when you do it right. And it's something that not only you can enjoy, but gives you a, a, a real visceral you know, uh, reaction. You get some adrenaline when you go fast. You get some, some you know, overload on the hearing. You get some overload on your sight as things go by. And it just makes it a lot of fun. There's, there's kind of nothing else like it. Um, you can paint, and when you're done, you hang it on the wall and look at it and go, oh, that's nice. But when you're done make, building a car, you can take it for a drive, and uh, you can show it off to everybody, and you also get something back from it, a job well done, and you get a lot of excitement from it. So I think that's where my passion for the cars comes from, is it's not just, uh, not just your talent that goes into it. It gives something back to you as well. Um, you can... You can race it, you can do burnouts with it, you can you know, put it in a show, or you can take it for a drive and meet up with a bunch of friends that are all into the same kind of thing. And that's really, really what excites me about it. Uh, what keeps my interest in cars is uh, just that I've, I've been doing it for so long, I kind of don't know any better. That's, that's just what I do. That's where my friends are. That's where my social group is. Um, I'd rather hang out with people that are car crazy than people that are, you know, passionate about knitting. Um, it's it's just a little more exciting. It's it's a little more fun to be with those kind of people. That's that's what I like. And there's so many different aspects. Some people like the technical aspect of it. Some people like the the beauty aspect of it and the aesthetic. And there's there's so many different angles to approach this hobby that you, you get a fresh perspective from everybody. Um, me personally, I like traditional style hot rods. I like the 50s and 60s style. Uh, the modern style hot rods, yeah, they're nice, but they don't really give me that excitement. I mean, it's like somebody just slapped some wheels on it and painted some wacky color. To me, that looks like hell. I really like something that's got classic lines, something that, uh, you know, it can be over the top. Ed Roth made some great cars, but it had classic lines. It had a distinct sense of style. It wasn't, uh, wasn't the modern look. It was more of a 50s and 60s look. Back to basics. That's what Bulletproof is all about, and that's, that's what I'm really passionate about, is having that aesthetic and uh, really paying homage to the, the style that's, you know, that's come up and stood the test of time, really. And uh, that's, that's where my aesthetic comes from. That's why I like things like this Mustang and, uh, you know, a nice traditional hot rod um, or even a custom. Uh, and even some of the, the like I said, Roth-esque kind of things, some of the over-the-top sh over show cars, but done really well. Um, hot, rat rods don't really excite me that much. There's, that's more of a clown, you know, hey, look at me. I've put rubber rats on my car. Ooh, big deal. Um, you know, that's, that's not craftsmanship. That's not, uh, that's like wearing a pair of clown shoes you're going to get laughed at. Um, to me, you know, those have their own, own aesthetic to it, but that's just not mine. I can appreciate it, but that's not what I would build. Hi, Lisa and everybody at uh, Raw TV in London. Um, this is, I'm going to do that again because there's an um right off the fucking bat. Can Every you imagine? Hi, everyone at uh, Raw TV. At uh, Raw TV. It's not a Raw TV. It's yeah. Raw TV. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to make a good blooper reel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>